Hello and welcome to codeinpractice.com. In this tutorial, I will tell you how to configure the gedit text editor, which is supplied in almost all Linuxes that are popular. Uh, to open gedit on Ubuntu, click on Applications, then Accessories, and then click on the gedit text editor. And as you can see, we have launched it. Now we need to make some changes to the preferences of gedit so that uh, we can code more easily. Now to do that click on edit then go to preferences and then uh, first of all uh, display line numbers. This will display line numbers for each line that you type. Uh, then highlight current line. This will highlight the current line so that you don't have to look for your cursor as to where it is. And then uh, display the right margin and this will display a thin line at 80 characters from the left margin. Uh, now what this does is that uh, if your text is becoming too long and you're approaching this margin it will remind you that you must hit enter so that the text flows from the next line. This is essential if you uh, want to uh, program on different platforms so if you want to open up your program on different uh, editors 80 characters is an ideal line width. Uh, also highlight matching brackets. What that is we'll see in a moment. Now click on the editors tab. Uh, then we have uh, something called tab widths. It's set at 8 which is too much. I'll just set it at 2 which is fine by me. And uh, also insert spaces instead of tabs. Tabs are recognized differently on different operating systems. So if you want to have uh, uh, symmetry between all your program files across all your operating systems just click on insert spaces instead of tabs and it will insert when you press the tab key it will insert spaces so if you have a tab width set to 2 it will insert 2 spaces enable automatic indentation this will also help us in keeping our code looking clean then next click on the fonts and colors tab in this tab we have many different uh, color schemes uh, there is uh, the classic scheme which is currently running right now then we have the cobalt which is a blue theme then we have tango which is just plain white then we have kate which is a little bit different but for me uh, I like the oblivion dark theme which is I believe a bit easy on the eyes you can choose whichever one you like and just hit close uh, as you can see that when we start typing the line numbers start increasing so we have line 1 2 0 5 uh, when we will be compiling a program so if the compiler says that we ha it has found the error on line 3 so you can just directly look at the left hand column and see where line 3 is and just go directly to the line um, now let me tell you what uh, highlighting matching brackets means so if we have brackets like this and uh, I highlight this, the matching bracket will get highlighted. Now how matching brackets are decided is like this. Let's suppose that we have many many brackets, right? And uh, this can be spread out over many lines, right? So if I am on some bracket the bracket that is relevant to this should be highlighted so if I am on this bracket then the last bracket should be highlighted as you can see it's being highlighted over here now brackets are cascaded what that means is that one bracket pair should be within another bracket pair and each bracket if uh, we uh, s say that we have an opening bracket which is just this then it should be followed by a closing bracket so these two are a pair of brackets right and uh, the pair for this is this one and not this one so that's what matching bracket does it matches the correct pair of bracket to the one that we have highlighted so this is very essential as you'll see when you develop programs in java so that's it for configuring the preferences on gedit uh, thank you for viewing.